everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a packing for Disneyland Paris video I couldn't put this up last week because we kept the trip a secret and we were going on the Thursday so I couldn't put this video up on the Wednesday because it would have spoiled the surprise so I just want to show you everything I packed we only went for a few days but it was very cold so I just wanted to show a little bit of a different packing video to the normal Florida videos where obviously I'm packing for hot weather so I hope you enjoy this and I hope it gives you some ideas for your packing and I will link all of the stuff that I'm talking about below where I can if I can find it. So let's get packing. I already have most of the stuff prepped in packing cubes so I'm just going to go through everything, show you what I'm taking. This is the suitcase I'm taking, it's a hard um, shell suitcase and it's just this teal colour. It's got four wheels because I find that a lot easier for travel and it's really not that huge so it has this compartment which covers over with the zip section and then as you can see it is quite shallow so it's actually perfect for if you're going somewhere for anything between sort of you know three and five days this is great it's not good for two weeks as I discovered I tried to take this to Florida and it was just way too small right let's start off with the clothes and I'm using this packing cube this is a perfect size again just for maybe four days or something like that and I got this set from Amazon I will link it below and because we're expecting cold weather this is very different packing to what I would normally do for Disney World so on that note of Disney World I will be taking my spirit jersey Obviously it's Disney World rather than Disneyland Paris, but I absolutely love this and it is quite warm because it has long sleeves. So I'll definitely take that to wear underneath a hoodie or a jacket because you don't get too hot wearing it, but if it is very cold, that would be quite nice to have underneath. And I also have this sweatshirt from Old Navy. This is just really comfortable and it will be really nice again to wear underneath a jacket if it is very cold. And I will also take my Disney in detail hoodie, but this does need to quickly go through the wash before we go. So I just thought I would show you it, but I'm not putting that in right now. Then I will be taking this pair of jeans. They're actually jeggings from Old Navy. They are so comfortable. They've got one of these bands on which kind of holds in your stomach which is quite nice when you're going on vacation and eating too much and they're just a really nice colour so I'll take those and then I'll be wearing another pair of jeans as well. I am going to take some of my Disney t-shirts although I will have to wear them underneath other things because it will be cold so I'm taking my friend's one, the one where they go to Disney. You guys have probably seen that on Instagram several times, I absolutely love that t-shirt. And of course I have my Aladdin t-shirt, this one is from Tokyo Disney. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I can't wait to go back and get the Toy Story version and I think they also have the Little Mermaid so I'm definitely taking that. And I also have this top from Boohoo, it's just an off-the-shoulder elasticated top and it's got these pretty sleeves, it's got like a little lace bit on the cuffs and it's just really nice if you want something a little bit nicer than t-shirts and hoodies. I don't know what the situation is, whether we'll be going anywhere in the evening at any point but it's good to take something just in case you do. And to be honest that is most of the clothes that I'll take because we're only going for a few days, I'll obviously be travelling in one outfit and then we just have two full days in the park and then travelling home in another outfit so I really don't need tons of stuff, I actually think I've got a couple of extra things probably than I need here. Yeah so I've got one, two, three, three kind of t-shirts, then I've got the two sweaters, a pair of jeans and another pair of jeans I'll be wearing so I think that's probably fine for just a few days. Then I have pyjamas and of course because we are staying in Hotel Cheyenne I have got my Toy Story pyjamas. These are so cute, they're from Primark and I just absolutely love that so obviously I had to bring this for that particular hotel and I'm not actually very keen on the pyjama bottoms that go with this I just don't like the fit of them so I'm bringing my Walt Disney World shorts I got these in the outlets in Florida and they've just got the Walt Disney World down the side and they're sort of a nice comfy elastic those are obviously blue so they kind of go with it but I just prefer to wear shorts and the bottoms that go with the Toy Story ones are trousers so I'm just going to bring those instead. Next up I have this packing cube which is for underwear. Ian actually got me this for Christmas because he knows I'm obsessed with packing cubes. So this one has several different pockets, it's got three I think in total. Obviously I'm not going to show you too much on my underwear but as you can see you've got like little sections where you can put everything in there. So this is just really handy and I love this. 
and this is actually plenty big enough to put bras and socks in there as well. Next up is this cube which has kind of accessories in here. So I got myself and Becky a scarf and these scarves are amazing. They have a zip pocket in them so when you're wearing them you can put your cards in there like your bank cards you could put your first passes in there you can put your phone in it so you've got it all around your neck and it keeps you warm and you don't have to worry about losing anything or having a lanyard so i'm super excited about those i've got a black one and becky has a gray one then i have this hat which is so cute i bought this specially in case it's really cold because i think it might be and it's got these two pom-poms on the top and it's just like a really warm stretchy hat i'm so pleased with this um it wasn't very expensive i got it from ebay i will try and link it below if I can find it same with the scarf but yeah I'm really pleased with this hat it's not my usual sort of thing but it's just so cute then I just have a pair of touchscreen gloves I think it is going to be cold enough that I'll need gloves and obviously I want to be able to use my phone take pictures so they will come in very useful again they were from ebay and then i just have this little purse which i sometimes use if we do go out in the evening and i don't want to take my like bigger bag it's just got a section for my purse a section for cards and a zip section in the middle where you can put a bit of makeup or keys or whatever in there and another thing i have here is my travel kettle i've just got it in this bag that came with one of my sets of packing cubes i just take that with me because i'm not sure if there is a kettle i've looked online and there seems to be very mixed reports about whether there is one so I prefer to just take my own to make sure that I can make a quick coffee in the morning and I usually like to have a tea before bed and this kettle is really good it's got two cups with it that are not too tiny because sometimes the travel kettle cups are so small um, I will link it below I really love it that's like a really good one then I just have one of these drawstring bags which I always bring with me to put dirty laundry in then I have my park bag and I'm taking my trusty Mickey Mouse one and normally for Florida this would have very different things in it like sunscreen and sunglasses I'm mainly sunglasses but probably not I think it's gonna be too cold for that so maybe while I'm there I'll show you inside what I carry around at Disneyland Paris in cold weather but I love this bag this is definitely the one I want to use it does have my little magic band thing on there but I just think that's cute so I'll probably leave that on next I have umbrellas and I told you that I replaced my cloud umbrella and I actually got two so that when Becky and I are in Disneyland Paris or Kate and I go to Florida we can take pictures with matching brollies which is so cute I am actually going to pack those but I'm also going to bring this big umbrella which is from Tokyo Disney because this one is very sturdy if it's windy it doesn't go inside out or anything and I've got a feeling it is going to be quite rainy looking at the forecast so I will bring these just for like cute pictures but I'm going to bring the more hardcore Tokyo Disney brolly in case the rain is really bad in terms of footwear I am bringing my converse these are the converse high tops that i got in florida they're so comfortable for walking around i absolutely love them i don't know that i'll bother bringing another pair of shoes because around the parks i'll definitely want to wear these i might just bring a pair of basic black flats in case we do something in the evening where i want something a little bit nicer than or a little bit fancier i should say than converse but i do have this spray that i ordered from amazon which is called sneaky spray and you can spray your canvas shoes i think you can also use it on leather and suede and it just makes them waterproof obviously if you're just like standing in water then it's not going to work but if you're walking around in the rain and stuff and you've sprayed it well then it will keep them um sort of dry and they don't get all soaked the way that they would ordinarily so i'm definitely going to need this i'm going to spray these probably this evening i will link it below if you're interested because in florida there is a lot of rain as well so it's always useful for Disney trips to Florida as well if you wear Converse and stuff like that in the parks. And for toiletries and makeup, I have this new bag that I picked up from Primark. It's really cute, it's got enough room for makeup and toiletries in it. So you have this smaller bag and this is the one I'll use to put makeup because obviously for a few days, I'm not gonna need tons of stuff, so that'll be big enough. Then you have the big clear bag and this is to put all of my shampoo and shower gel and stuff. And I do have kind of travel sizes of most things. Um, I've got like my makeup remover there, the Garnier Micellar Water. And I also picked up this travel moisturizer and these are in new packaging from Simple and they're a bit more environmentally friendly because they use less plastic. In fact, it's 62% less plastic and you can squeeze every last drop out of it. So I just thought that was a perfect size for travel and I like the fact that they're trying to use less plastic. Another little tip, I do take a lot of vitamin supplements and I never want to bring like five or six big 
jars of vitamins with me because that's really annoying so i've got this little um box which i used to put my medication in and it's got four days there and i've just got each of the three days all of my vitamins and then the cod liver oil capsules i tend to find that they go a bit weird if you put them in with others so i've just put those in the end and then all i need to bring is this i don't have to bring a ton of different vitamin bottles and other essentials for travel that i have i use a leave-in conditioner which is pretty important when you have extensions so i just have a little small spray bottle that i put some of that in there and i just have a little tube of antiseptic cream in case of any injuries i have this little zippy pouch that's got some plasters these are baymax ones which i got in tokyo disney and just like hair grips and hair elastics and stuff i also have makeup remover wipes and i have a little shower cap i actually picked this up in a hotel somewhere but i like to have one because i don't wash my hair very often so although i'll obviously want to shower i probably won't want to wash my hair and i do have some little under eye patches i love these garnier ones i'll link them below they're absolutely amazing they're the hyaluronic acid and orange juice ones but i really like those and i tend to do them every few days so i've got some of those in there and deodorant just all the basics and this is currently empty but obviously my makeup will go in there at the last minute on the subject of toiletries i just ordered this from amazon it just came today and these are the silicon squeeze bottles i find these really good and they don't ever leak and i've got one for shower gel one for shampoo one for conditioner and then a spare one but these are great if you don't want to take full size shampoos and conditioners obviously if you are only going for a few days and i don't wash my hair very often so i thought these would be perfect for a shorter trip and then for my hand luggage i have this backpack i've actually got two this one is the kind of smaller of the two that i take on shorter trips and this one has a whole section in the bottom which you can use for camera equipment on this trip i actually have all of my tea and coffee stuff in the bottom because i'm taking the kettle so i need to bring tea and coffee as well and that's not usually what i use it for but that's what i'm using it for this trip and i have my bath and body works hand sanitizer on the side there when we get there i'll switch that to my smaller mickey bag and in the top section here this is where i put my laptop it kind of sits down at the back I also have my power bank so that if you're taking a lot of Instagram pictures in the parks and you're using your phone a lot for like live streams that I do sometimes, it's really good to have some backup battery power and this is from amazon and i've had it for ages and it still charges really well so i will link that below and i just have some cereal bars i always take them with me whenever i go on vacation because you never know when hunger might strike i also have this pouch which i will put my medication in and then this one has my mini ears and i'm not taking very many pairs with me because we are only going for a few days and there is a pair that i want to pick up while we're there but in here i have my millennial pink ones from milamouse.com these are so cute i just love the color and i also have this pair from mila mouse they're so cute her ears are amazing they last a really long time they're so well made and i do have a code in the description below so you can get 25 percent off so i will link her shop and put the code down there for you just a tip if you are buying these from the uk because i do get asked this a lot i tend to get ears shipped to my disney resort so that i don't have to worry about the more expensive shipping to the uk or worrying about any customs charges that might happen so i tend to just get them shipped there if i'm going on a disney trip it just saves any hassle with any of that and i also forgot to mention with the new toiletry bag i bought it also had this small mickey purse inside so i'll use this when i go on this trip and to disney world just as a small purse to put my cash in i've already got my euros they arrived yesterday so i'm all prepared with that and there are a few things that i haven't put in yet like my hair straighteners and obviously i will have my laptop my vlogging camera my batteries but i can't put any of that in until the very last minute and my toothbrush and all that sort of thing but i just just wanted to show you the bulk of what I'm taking with me the clothes and the accessories and things like that and let me know in the comments if you think there's anything else I should have packed I will be on my way by the time you watch this video so um, it would be a bit late for this trip but I've never been to Disneyland Paris so I've just kind of gone off what I would pack for a Walt Disney World trip but packed for cold weather and rain instead of hot weather and rain so hopefully I've got it right and yeah that is pretty much everything I'm taking so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and 
and next Wednesday will be the haul video where I'll show you all of the stuff I bought while I was at Disneyland Paris. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified when that video comes through because I'm aware recently that there have been situations where people haven't been notified or the video hasn't been going into their subscription box. So make sure you hit the bell icon to always make sure that you are notified when videos come up. And I did of course vlog this trip to Disneyland Paris and those vlogs will be coming up as soon as the current Florida vlogs are done. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.